Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk all about how to cut, blend, and put in extensions so that they look completely natural and super awesome. And the extensions I'm gonna be using are the Glam Seamless Invisiclip. These are so amazing. I've been using Glam Seamless extensions for years. But now they started making the very slim, very thin kind of wefts where they literally look like tape -ins. Not only that, but the outside part, there's not like a seam, there's not a piece where it's been sewn like traditional extensions. So when it's actually on the head, it really just looks like that hair is like growing out of your head. I feel like extensions have been the same for a very long time. So it's about time that something exciting happens to them. So before I nerd out any more on hair extensions, let's just get into the video. So the best way to measure and to know how much to cut and like where to cut, the best thing would be to try them on, of course. Um, obviously my hair is up, just because I really want to show you like placement on the head. Um, I, these side pieces are a very good gauge because you can see how it hits on the face. So because my hair is a lot shorter now, I definitely want my extensions to be tr a little shorter than I guess traditionally. Normally I would probably want them to about here, but for this cut I want them to end about there. So that's about a good measure. I always come down a little bit more because you want to be adding some texture. So you want to give yourself definitely a little bit of length there. And so for this step, this is really easy. You can take any scissors for this part. All you're doing is cutting across really blunt, nothing special to this cut. And don't worry if when you pick them up, they're a little bit off. So as you can see, mine are pretty blunt. Obviously that's what we wanna stay away from. So the easiest thing to do um, to kind of cut your work in half is to fold it halfway like this so that every snip you make, it's basically, you know, you're doing it on the opposite side. And the way you hold this like between your fingers is really going to determine how good, you know, the cut of this will be. Push that down and right when you have just about enough you know, like room to to cut, um, pinch your fingers together and pinch them so that that hair does not have any ability to wiggle or want to hang lower than the other so that you can now drop that and you have full control of this. I'm just going to go in and start point cutting. So you see how we have much softer this looks more like when you, if you were to grab, you know, the end of a ponytail, this is more how the hair would look. And that's the look we're going for. Obviously when adding texture, it is possible sometimes that you could make them, you know, kind of more um, heavy on one side. So definitely test for balance. Once you are happy with it, that piece is ready to go. Um, keep in mind too that the way you angle extensions can have a huge play on your cut. So say if you put that on, very straight like that and that looks very very blunt just by changing the angle of it say if you put it on like this it gives it a much more kind of gradual look where it almost looks layered which is very beautiful if that's the look you're going for instead of trying to achieve that layered effect through the cut especially for someone you know who's not really like trained that's the easiest way to kind of create that um, effect all right, so once you got all of your extension pieces cut, it is time to put them on. So I'm gonna start with the first piece in the back. So I'm grabbing the kind of widest weft. Because the extensions I'm putting in are, you know, very close to the length that I have in, I'm just going to do like two pieces in the back and then one on each side. I only have a partial highlight, so uh, my hair is very, very balayaged. So obviously I have dark roots in the back. bring it forward for balance. Sometimes you can put it on, it may like way longer on one side. So, and that just means that you probably have it on crooked in the back. This looks pretty even. And then the second weft. And you can just put that one right above where you just clipped in the last one. And because they are so flat, really they can almost go almost right above each other and it's still really seamless and flat. So then go ahead and drop the rest of your hair down. 
And as you can see, the hair already starts to look so much thicker. And especially with, you know, this trend of the like really blunt cut, a lot of girls that are chopping off their hair and getting this really fun, you know, messy kind of a chic haircut, and then they have like just these really wispy ends. So if you ever wonder how Khloe Kardashian gets that such va va boom thick, you know, like really blunt line, it is with a ton of like short pieced extensions. You can definitely go ahead and add just a few more pieces to the front. Also, if you ever wonder like what color will look good, I don't know if you saw when I hold these like up against my hair, they look so much lighter and it seems so scary. It's like, oh my gosh, it's gonna stand out like a sore thumb, so not gonna blend. The thing with extensions is you never wanna like match them to the top. That's not where they're gonna sit. So normally the ends of your hair will be the lightest kind of bit of your hair and that's where the extensions have to match because that's where they will be touching. That's where like one will fade off into the next. So always, especially if you have like ombres and balayage kind of colors, look at the ends of your hair and that's the color that you will need to buy. Also, if there's still a color where you're kind of in between, you know, one or the other, always go for the lighter one. If you imagine, like I just said, no matter how like blonde you are, you know, at the root, the bottom should always look slightly lighter. I actually kind of like the disheveled kind of messy look from when you just kind of put in extensions that are kind of like worn in. But obviously if you want to give it a little bit more of that kind of messy beachy wave, I'm just going to show you the quick easy steps you can do. So starting in the front, just because that's going to kind of be your guide kind of for the rest of the head, I always like to start in the front. Just go ahead and grab any curling iron or wand. I am so sad that I was doing a wedding this weekend and I packed up all of my T3 irons and wands and I am stuck with this old thing today. So, but it'll get the job done and you'll get it. So I always like to curl away from the face and these this piece here, I like to bring it towards the face. So if you could see, I wasn't like doing it back here, you bring it forward. And that gives you kind of that little like swoop in the bang area that every girl kind of wants. So doing the same thing on the other side. And then always tuck it under and slide it up. And again, bring it forward, almost where it's like kind of blocking your eye. And always leaving the ends out because you want those to look straight. So obviously they look funny right now. Just go ahead and let them set and you can move on to the next section. So I'm making sure to grab a piece of the extensions and my natural hair. The reason for that is because you want those two, you know, hair textures to kind of marry together. So then that becomes like one curl. So now for this section, I'm actually coming towards the face. That adds kind of volume and it ensures that all of these pieces are not just going to kind of start blending into each other. And now as we get back towards the head, um, I always like to do the back always like coming into the center. Coming back to this side. And I would like to say I probably grab about an inch wide of hair. Did I just say inch wide of hair? An inch width of hair. Sorry, I think sometimes I'm more foreign than I realize. <laughs> We want to curl this one going back so it kind of like meets the other one and it doesn't look awkward or weird in the back. And then definitely go in with your fingers and kind of just pull all the waves through just so that it looks very tousled and just very carefree.
And then when I have extensions in, just a little secret that I have that I just feel really helps kind of blend your natural hair texture in with the extensions is a little bit of dry shampoo. And obviously that's just great for your roots, period. But I think it gives it a little bit, but it definitely gives it a little bit of texture too. And that texture will just kind of make them kind of just blend and like melt into each other. All right, so there you have it. Just a very simple way to really personalize your extensions. Also, I wanted to let you guys know that I'll be having a Glam Seamless giveaway in a next video um, sometime within the next month. I feel that with every giveaway that I do, I'm always sad for all the people that didn't get one. So any opportunity that I get to do another one, I am all for it. Anytime it's a product that I use myself, I've been using Glam Seamless extensions for I want to say almost three years now so and I share it with my clients and definitely with you guys so um, I thought a giveaway would be an amazing opportunity also if you still have enjoyed our chat page on Facebook it's everything about hair you can ask questions um, we have myself and other hairdressers answering I already feel like we've solved so many hair situations and I love hearing, you know, your guys' ideas, just anything that you guys want to share about hair or definitely any questions. So don't miss out and join the group. I will also leave a link for that below. All right, guys, so that will be it. I hope you enjoyed another hair tutorial. Don't forget to click here to subscribe. It will just notify you that I've made a new video. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Love you guys. Bye.